Ready to reach the right crowd? What? Get no. influencer Mark the freak on YouTube. Leave me alone. My bad. My bad. That was my fault. I didn't have the microphone on. I was like, you know what? I just gotta start it right. I just gotta start over fresh. Can't we can't go out like that. We can't start like that. People are gonna be like, yo, his mouth is moving, but he, he ain't saying nothing. You know, I'm thinking about the people that's gonna be viewing this after the fact. So we gotta do it right. We gotta do it right. What up, everybody? Welcome, welcome on back. Yes, we're doing the paranormal tonight. We're doing the paranormals tonight. But um I got I gotta finish, I gotta finish my piece with this dang on this Karen. Now, people were saying that, hey, is A-OK -okay the, the, the Kevin in this situation? No. Not a freaking Kevin. And I'll explain why, but we're going to wait for a few more people to pile up in here. But we waiting. We waiting. What's going on? Let me shout out everybody that's here right quick. Dollar Silver made it back in here. First again, Gold Millions, Kara, Amanda, Brandy, Candice, Gemini Queen, my usuals, Casey, I see you up in here, Christian. Heather Pineapple, I mean Heather Buffalo. My bad. Oh, I was combining you with Honey Pineapples for some reason. Uh, who else we got up in here? Who else? We got three of my moderators in here. I like to seize it. Laura, I see you up in here. The Dante, what's good with you? A different name. I like it though. Um, that wait, hold on. Paralegal chick. Oh, what's good? You up in here again? How you doing? Beaming in the building. What's good? McNone, I see you. Harold, I see you up in here. Brisha. Briasha. I think it's Briasha. Briasha? Briasha. Look, I know you corrected me before, but my memory, it ain't it ain't all there. <laughs> EJR68 in the building yet again. He's little, I'm seeing I'm seeing a common thread here. I'm seeing my um my, my my channel members that stay channel members up in here, guy dang. You know what I'm saying? I like to see it. Not the ones that be getting the little, you know, the little don't know channel memberships here and there all the time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I appreciate all of y'all nonetheless. Sharon says, I thought he says, I thought Karen shut down your video. Nah, she ain't shut it down. <laughs> I shut it down because I turned on the video, the live stream, without first turning on the microphone and I was talking and nobody could hear me. It made zero sense. So I was like, let's go ahead and get this thing rock and rolling. For those of y'all who are in here now that didn't see the Karen video live stream that I just did a few a few moments ago, uh, I did a little video talking about my Karen experience. A uh, Karen experience. So for those of y'all who was coming back from that video, I just came from outside uh, to show you guys exactly what I was talking about, so y'all can get a little bit more reference and understanding as to why I'm so upset at this Karen, right? So we about to play this video, but um, yeah, I'm gonna do it and then we're gonna do the intro. Look at this, I'm gonna show y'all. See, this is what I'm talking about, y'all. So look, I wasn't blocking this. See right here, here's another parking spot, another handicapped parking spot, which has been wide open all day. Anybody could have been parked there. As a matter of fact, if I remember correctly, there was another white vehicle. I got so many white vehicles parked that, that one day uh, this whole line on my side was just all white vehicles. Now, I remember Steve was like, hey, make sure Karen doesn't have a a, a hang tag of um, um, a handicap in her windshield. I will double check for that, but I'm pretty sure I've never seen one in there. Somebody could have easily. And if she is indeed um, a, 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 has a handicap on her vehicle, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> Because that means my plan is not going to work. Because I want to catch her parking one of these handicapped spots so I can dang on call the authorities on her. This parking spot. Somebody could have easily parked their vehicle. And then there's another handicap over here. All of them were usable. Right here. That's the other handicap spot that's right on the opposite side of this handicap spot. You see this vehicle, how close it is to that line because of that dang on truck over there? Mind you, if I would have sat my vehicle in this parking spot perfectly, we would be hitting each other's doors when we tried to open them. My vehicle is much wider than this Nissan, and that wouldn't have been feasible at all. This Nissan is parked exactly how I was parked in this parking spot, even down to the same distance between the Nissan and the truck. So y'all saw I was parked the same way, but my wheels was overlapping the line. You see, this person had to be on the line as well, super close. 
obviously my vehicle is a lot bigger, so my tires is going to be overlapped over it because they parked the same way I did. As a matter of fact, they parked even closer to this vehicle. Yeah. You see? You see that this is about the same. They made sure that they parked enough over that put them on close to the line as well so that both of them will have enough um, distance to open their doors. Exactly. Uh, Karen wanted to be petty. Yeah. Karen wanted to be petty. I sure hope she don't have a freaking... Um, um, she walks perfectly fine. She better not have a dang on handicap tag in her car so I can catch her parking in that parking spot. She's not out there right now. Y'all see I went out here to check. And um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to get you, Karen. I'm going to catch you in that parking spot, and I'm going to call the police on you. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing rocking and rolling. We ain't at 250 yet, but we get close. 217. That's how many live viewers we got in here. Again, people were saying, they're like, hey, is Artie Kicks the Kevin in this situation? Because he's upset at the Karen? No. In order for me to be a Kevin or a Karen myself, I would have, I would have, I would have, I would have had to had <laughs> some type of negative verbal altercation with her, or I would have had to have done something to her, kind of like how she did to me. I've never spoken to this woman. I've said hello to her in passing. That's literally it. I don't even, wait, have we ever said hello? Maybe not. I've only seen her like two or three times in my life. But um, yeah, petty war. Petty war must um endure. <laughs> Woo! All right, so we're about to get this paranormal night started. Let me pull up the video, y'all. It's gonna be a King Frostmare kind of night. It's been a minute. This is the scariest videos ever captured by accident. I like that title, captured by accident. Got boys, girls, ready? I'm not, cause we waiting for that number to hit two fifty. 250 live viewers, and we're going to get this thing going. There we go. All right. So let me see what y'all talking about in the chat while we waiting for our other 18 viewers to get here. I see people in here saying, hello, A-OK. -okay. Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope y'all having a wonderful night, y'all. Tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo. Hope you go out and get your tacos and have some fun. Don't have too much fun. You know what I'm saying? I got invited to go somewhere with a buddy of mine. Um, there will be alcohol, but there will not be any consumption of me because I vow to never touch the stuff again. Ever. Never, ever, ever. People gonna think I'm I'm a bore and lame and dull. Let them. Because I, I, this is my life. <laughs> oh, oh, my stomach hurt. Yeah, hey, hey, you right, uh, Fuju. Fuju Lee, he says, Darren sounds better than Kevin. It rhymes with Karen better, Darren. Yeah, I like that. I kind of, I like, I agree with that, Darren. Darn Darren. <laughs> hey, I know a guy named Darren. He wouldn't appreciate that. Hey, none of the Karens do. Oh, man, my stomach. Ooh, on my belly or song. All right. Dang, we jumped up quick. What up, A-OK -okay Mafia? It's your boy, Art of Kicks. And just like that, we back with another one. <sighs> exactly. She cost me $500 for nothing just because she want to be petty. Within that same... It, it, my car had been there. My vehicle had been in that parking spot three minutes when she discovered it. Three minutes my vehicle had been in that parking spot when she discovered it. Meaning I had just put it there momentarily. Oh, my goodness. For y'all that don't know what we're talking about, I uh, did a live stream right before this. I got a Karen. Um, just like the first Karen I've ever reacted to on this channel, she was Asian. I can go check that out. <laughs> Again, y'all, this is the scariest videos ever captured by accident. Ink Frost Mirror. Let's get it. The next video was captured in the basement of Mark and shared on his channel, Donny Drunkard. He stopped. I don't think this was by accident. He looked like he, <laughs> he looked like he trying to catch some paranormal activity. Mentioning the haunting in his home for several years now. 
He's been documenting the hunting in his home for several years now. Yeah, this ain't an accident. And I highly recommend you check him out. He was attempting to contact the spirit world once again, and the following video was part of a live stream that Yo, this man house is a whole portal for the for the dead. Mark had conducted. It was broadcasted live on his channel at the time. Bro, that cut out in the corner about scaring me. Come. Come. You know what I thought? I, this is a dude that that that's that voice sound like a female said come. I thought there was a female that was walking and recording, but it was the um the little device. And what's interesting about this recording is that a viewer of his noticed an odd anomaly. The second that Mark is switching the light on. Where? Damn, it's dark in it. Too dark. Yo, what the freak? Ow! Oh, staircase. What? As soon as he flicked that light, it looked like something hit the ground. But he walked down there and didn't acknowledge what was on the floor. It looked like a mirror. He didn't acknowledge it. Does he not know that it did that? Sound like we heard it too. Y'all, I'm scared right now. I don't like this. Yeah, you see that? That hit that land on the ground right there, right? Oh, because yo, no! Slow down. It looked like yeah, there's a mirror on the floor, but something jumped into the mirror. Y'all saw that? See something that looks like a weird shadow. You, you see that? Well, apparition disappearing into the floor. Oh, that's not a mirror. What is that then? What's on the floor? Is that he had a hole in the floor or something? It's almost impossible to make it out without slowing the footage down. What is that? I'm 100% convinced that this thing is related to all the paranormal encounters. Yo, what the? Yo, why is it the first time it sound like something hit the floor? But when they played it again, it didn't. Oh, I haven't done a short horror in a minute, Star. That would be a good idea. You say it's called The Portrait? of God, a short horror film. All right, I'm gonna pull it up. It's in his home. Pretty eerie. Somebody copped the Potato 99 pullover, it looks like, on the website. I'm gonna shout you guys out at the end. The following video was captured by a young man one night who was filming in the local city. They were located right next to a mosque. And it is said that the service was being held in there at the time. The man described the following encounter as quite baffling. Apparently, he saw something transparent leaving the mosque building into the sky and then disappearing. Dang, this must be a good horror short because not often do a, a horror short film on YouTube catch darn near 2 million views within like 8 months. I'm, we're going to check that out. We're going to check that out for sure. I, I'll post that tomorrow. Thank you, Star. Only seconds later. What was that? Shout out to the Potato 99 cameras out there because this... When the quality is trash, it's easy to hide. Paranormalness. Speaking of, I was at the Mall of America. Oh, and I should I should send this picture. I'm a, I'm a um send it to myself so that I can pull it up on the screen so y'all can see exactly what I'm talking about. Inside the Mall of America, as soon as you walk through the main doors, there is a a hanging fixture. It's a bunch of butterflies. 
Where's this at? Cause I, oh, here it is. Did I record it? Oh, freak. I knew I... Darn it, never mind. I don't have it. I thought I had a picture of it. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, as soon as you walk in, there is a hanging fixture of a bunch of butterflies. I'm uh, about to send it to myself so you guys can see it. And they almost look like they're suspending by themselves. They're all hanging from um, fishing line, and you can't even see it. And it had me thinking about a lot of these paranormal videos that we see, how I know they could be using that fishing line to create a lot of the stuff that we be seeing in the videos. Cause I'm walking up on this thing real life and I'm looking, I'm like, dang, I can't see how they're hanging. It wasn't until I got directly up on them. Could I see the fishing line? It does look quite strange, doesn't it? A shadow being is seemingly floating into the sky. What it was exactly? Hard to explain. Some people stated that it might have been a trash bag or something of that nature, while others believe this. All right, I want y'all to peep this image real quick. Somebody said, I love butterflies. Yeah. All right, so in this picture, right? only in the areas where where the window is and where there's major light shining can you really see how these things are hanging actually as a matter of fact only where the window is can you see them hanging even here you can see the major wiring that is creating the um the pattern of the butterflies but you can't see them actually hanging individually from the fishing line unless you look up here in, in the window. Now at a distance of 20, 30 feet, you cannot see them, what's hanging them up. Like what, what are they hanging by at all? You can't see that at all. It just looks like these are actual butterflies that's not flopping. They're, they're just up there. It's not until you get directly up on them can you see that they're hanging by fishing line. You see what I mean up here? Up here you can see it because of the light. Down here, you can't. Just looks like suspending butterflies. Be a more mysterious encounter. What's your opinion? The next case has Dayana. Um, you say you ordered the wrong size. Um, email me the correct size and I can fix that for you. It's been shared from the home of user failed talk show host. The man claims that he could hear mysterious noises for the last couple of years coming from his apartment. This was mainly happening in the late evening hours. He tried hard to figure out what was going on in his home, but was never lucky enough to uncover the origin of these creepy sounds. However, one night he was noticing the mysterious sounds once more and snapped a photo towards the kitchen from where he could hear them. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, the Mall of America was crazy. I knew it was big, but I didn't think it was going to be that big. I'm like, what the heck? How do you have a whole amusement park inside this mall with with multiple roller coasters? It was crazy. People screaming. I'm like, yo, this is legit. It's like six flags up in here. And then you got every store that you could think of. Phone again after hearing these weird noises originating once more. It made sense though. It's like they instead of having um how do you call it? Ah, uh, my brain, my brain is shutting down right now. Instead of having other shopping plazas in the proximity in the area, they just put all of the shopping plazas inside this one mall, basically. This time he didn't capture anything on his photo, but rather decided to put out his camera and he started recording for several hours on standby. Oh yeah, look, it's the same figure that looked like Jesus, he's moving around.
Creepy. If I saw this in my house, I'm moving. I don't want to live there no more. I'm I'm moving out right then and there. I'm, I'm paying the lease off if I got to. Oh, how much I owe? Six thousand. Dang, that's crazy. All right, I'm pay it off because I ain't coming back here. That's I just be broke. I live in my car for a while, and then uh, I just have some 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 movers go pick up all my stuff. I gotta send somebody over there to my house first to organize and pack up all my stuff because I ain't going back in there. I shit. And then I sit get the movers. <laughs> That'd be messed up, man. Don't hire friends. You better hire somebody you don't know. Get that. No, not me. Mm -mm. Can't do it. Can't do it. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button for your boy. We're trying to get 500 likes by the end of the live stream. Once again, it is pretty dark. But after enhancing the footage, we can see a figure moving in the dark. It's pretty clear that this must have been the same person or thing that we had seen in the kitchen photo. I don't think that we are dealing with a squatter here. So, is it safe to say that we are seeing something paranormal unfold? Who knows? Yeah, we got two new channel members in the building. The next video was captured by a Come on, people, run that like button up for your boy. We got 171. We trying to get the 500 which was relatively deserted. What made them pull out their phone was a scary looking object that was seemingly floating in the sky just a few meters above the road. Could you imagine? Like, could you imagine seeing something like this? I would poop myself. Crap all in my pants. Look at that. Jesus? No, that that looks more demonic cuz I feel like it would be bright light. Yo, what the freak? Is it walking in the sky? And they're driving closer to it, y'all. Like how? Oh heck, no. They drove this right under it. And it looked like a whole person just up there. Nah, man. Isn't it somewhere in Africa? Or in one of these islands where, because we saw something in a recent video, and I saw some people in the comments saying something along the lines of, "Yeah, they've been there, or they've seen um, like certain voodoo rituals and stuff where people actually actually can hover that high in the sky, like for real, for real." That crazy. I couldn't imagine. Said that it was an extremely scary looking shadow figure with barely any facial features as far as they could tell. They had no exp LJ says the Atlanta Braves are winning tonight. Look, I don't watch sports, so this, this, this A represent Atlanta for me. Just not How else could we explain this? What is that thing? I missed it. Heather said, Heather said, it's because you're cute. I don't know what happened that made me cute, but I appreciate it. I'm talking about the Karen, wash y'all up in my junk. This video was captured by a young man who states that he was on a nightly stroll in his local forest. He says, although it can feel quite a bit creepy there at night, especially since the area has no street lights whatsoever and the graveyard is located right next to this strip of forest. He never had seen anything strange before, but he tells us that he heard a weird whimpering noise that made him feel quite uneasy. And at this point, he started recording and held the flashlight towards the noises. Y'all saw that? It looked like something big, almost like a person with long arms all the way down to the floor or to the ground appears right here. It's weird. Look at this. Y'all see that? And it's rising up. In his words, this thing just looked like a gray cloud that was floating towards him. Only after watching this video back at home, he had to realize that this was perhaps a spirit. Many think that it looks like a floating torso. So 
So maybe it was a visiting spirit from the neighboring graveyard. The following video is also quite the spooky one. It was recorded by Ali McDaniel. Who's Miss Stanfield says it's the first time tonight that her and her loved ones were able to make it to the live stream. Congratulations, y'all in here, y'all made it. Nigga, we made it. States that he had just returned from a fishing trip that day and that he heard some really alarming screams from a close by public bathroom. He didn't see anybody entering and he felt that this was quite odd. So he started recording this encounter. The what though? Oh, yo, I remember this. I love this clip. This is trippy right here because he hears something in his bathroom, but he goes in there and there's nobody there. Sorry, spoiler alert. You hear that? Somebody's screaming for help. What the? Sound like somebody in there. Oh. Where? There's nobody in here. That's crazy. And this is a screaming stops. Yo. A <laughs> man's tripping for real legit. What Ali didn't realize at the time was that there seemed somebody else standing relatively close to him in the bathroom. Many people said that the screen Melissa says, watching A-OK -okay while on my vacation. Girl, you better go on back to your little vacation. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, have your fun. You can watch the live stream after. You, you really, when you're going to bed, turn it in. Maybe you're going to bed right now. It is pretty late over here. Let me mind my business. This seemed quite real, though, making some believe that it might have been just a nice video project. Oh, yeah, this is, this is true. This is true, LJ. Skinwalkers can make them or disguise themselves to sound like humans. But still, they can throw their voice too. They throw in their voice in the bathroom. That don't make a whole lot of sense. Why, the, why we didn't see a skinwalker up in there? Hey, hold on, wait. King Frostmere said something. What'd he say? Many people said that the screams seemed quite real though, making some believe that it might've been just a nice video project. Possibly. I thought about that too. I thought about how could he have made this look real? He could have had somebody that he knows, a female, go into the bathroom and scream twice, you know, ask for help. And he record that from the same distance. Like he took the exact same path that he did going into the bathroom and just clipped them together so that it looked very natural. You know what I mean by that? So he could have stood outside where he first, where we first heard the scream. And he could have had somebody actually scream record that and then him going towards the bathroom and have somebody scream again, record that, and then put that clip on top of the clip of him walking into the bathroom and there being nobody there. That that would have been the easiest way to get um get that clip done using a phone. But if not, what exactly had unfolded here that evening? Because the conditions would have been the exact same. Now we are taking a look at some CCTV footage, which stems from an old sewer tunnel system located somewhere in Europe. The story goes that a lot of sketchy stuff was going on in these systems back in the day, and that to this day, workers still see the eerie outlines of spirits down there. Apparently, the following footage is showing us one of these instances. This clip, look, bruh, we've seen this before too. No, my man. 
Brandy said I was over debunking it. No, I was just simply debunking it. My words was just struggling to come out. A woman seems to appear at the end of the sewer tunnels, but also the light flickers to Candace says she watching the live stream at work. You know what that mean, right? Candace, that you ain't working. Get back to work for I call and fire your butt. Now I'm playing. She vanishes. Only moments after that, there is a dark shadow that is making it towards the end of the tunnel as well. Which is pretty inexplicable to many. What do you think happened here? I couldn't say, to be honest. Yeah, I couldn't say either. I don't know if it's Cap or not. The following was captured by the security camera of a laundromat store. The owner uploaded the video as proof, because many people swore that the building was extremely haunted. Creepy sightings were nothing rare, apparently. However, the owner could never capture evidence on his camera until this night. After closing the store up for the night, the man left and the security camera kept rolling. The footage got randomly pulled one day and they saw something on it that looked quite creepy. Oh, shit! Y'all see that? Just appeared over there out of nowhere, scared the mess out of me. Woo! It Woo. looks like a woman with dark hair that is standing next to the laundry machine. Yeah, we're about halfway to our light goals for the night. Got 600 live viewers with 246 likes. We're trying to get to 500. If you like me, hit that like button for your boy. If you don't, hit that like button for your boy. If you're having fun hanging out with your boy, hit that like button. In the right top corner of the room. How terrifying. What's even more creepy, however, is how she mysteriously seems to appear in the room. And then, only moments after, disappears again. Miss Keller, welcome. Y'all don't, you know, uh, somebody else done not called the live with us tonight, hanging out with your boy. Of course, there are reflections from the street outside that can be seen in this store. But many are certain that this is not what we are seeing here. So. Heck no, nah, there ain't no reflection. Whoever, whatever that is, is inside. Of the laundromat and she over here thinks she's slick trying to use the laundromat after hours to clean her little her little ghost clothes <laughs> is this a spirit haunting the men's store she not only hunting it but she's probably using it too you know she she be out hunting all night and spooking folks and she be getting her little white robe dirty white dress look i'm lame i know the following clips were shared by user BV1150, who states that he as well is experiencing some really terrifying events unfolding in his own four walls. Ever since moving into his new place, he was visited by strange shadow sightings. He was woken up in the midst of night by loud banging noise. How many times have we seen this clip, y'all? I need to see it in the chat. How many times have we seen this clip? If you know, I need to see it in the chat. He had a friend over, and indeed, there seemed to be some unusual loud noises that were stemming from his closet, or from right above his closet, which was weird because nobody else should have been there. Sean said, it's bring AOK -A and friends to work night, girl, you better get back to work. Get up. Get up. Before you get fired. Miss Burgundy, I'm doing fantastic. Other than the fact that I got hit with a $500 fine because a Karen wanted to be a Karen. Y'all can go check out 
that video right after this video. I did a live stream of that not too long ago. And um, I knew somebody was going to try to be accurate, accurate. And, no, look, if y'all ain't been paying attention. We say 511 when we have seen a video too many times. Uh, hold on, let me go ahead. Let me go ahead. Sabrina got it right. We seen this clip 511 times. People over here talking about three, four, four to five. For those that know, they know 511. 511. We seen it 511 times. Nothing at first glance, but after BB decides to take a look around and opens the door to one of the rooms, there seemed to be something else with them. Mister in the building with the blue, and thank you for the do uh, for the donation, Mister. Standing at the end of the room, and then it charges at them as if it wanted to hurt them. BB states that they could not sleep at his place that night, and that he has nightmares ever since. If it wasn't just escaped by the young man, has maybe something demonic entered? Something that is now playing tricks on him. Can say. Shout out to everybody copying merch. I'm gonna shout you guys out at the end of the live stream. And for those of y'all who got here late, I even posted a little clip trying to, you know, um, talk about the my piece when it comes to the little Karen incident that happened not too long ago at the beginning of this live stream. You'll this see. The video was captured by Marco. The young man states that he's working the night shift in one of the local mines and that ever since their company has started working on this project, he and his colleagues can always hear some inexplicable screams from inside the old and darkened tunnels. Some even swear to have seen strange things in there that didn't really make sense to them. This night, Marco wanted to record one of the most notorious areas of this mine for friends and family. And this is when he captured the following. Muchos compañeros no querían estar ahí. Decían que los asustaban mucho. Incluso decía que veían gente dentro de ese pequeño abandonado. Marco had no idea what this creepy creature was, and it startled him quite a bit. He showed the footage to his colleagues. At this point, the team was pretty much certain that these mines indeed were haunted. They look like some little tiny eyes super close together on a very small head. That's what I'm getting. I mean, what else could be going on here? Is this maybe an inexplicable being? Really hard to say. The chairs, new channel member in the building. Hold on. Nine months with ALK fam. That's what I'm talking about, Brown and Press. He likes to see it. ALK and crew just wanted to. Show some love. Thank you, Jessica. We appreciate you. Big baby. Mafia, you're in the building. Y'all look. Understand. When you become a part of the Mafia, you family for life. It's, it's that simple. Don't even, don't even try. Don't try to leave. There's nowhere for you to go. We're here. Together. We're in this. Together. Forever. Okay? Okay, good. Now that you understand, get to the next video. I don't think that's it. Oh, that's definitely not it. 
look, this is why I, I need to do this the way that I know I need to do this. I assume that the next video is going to be the next video. Where is it? There we go. Here we go. Yo, this is the scariest videos ever captured on dash cam. Number six. Let's go. King Frostman. <laughs> Make sure you're hitting that like button for your boy. If you're here and there's a like button anywhere near, smash it. The following video was captured by two young friends who were driving on a road in the fields that was owned by one of their family members. They do this ever so often when hanging out on the weekends. Tonight was a bit strange, however, because they thought to have seen something in the distance and kept driving towards it. Wait a minute. Look at what are those? Yeah, we've seen this clip right here. I don't know if this is the exact video that we saw, but you got a video titled one through six. It's hard to know if you already done six. Hold on. Let's see what this next one is. I don't think we did this video, but let me double check. The following video was shared by Sherman O'Neill was the owner of a local trucking business in Oklahoma. He states that a driver of his had captured something rather unsettling one night while being on the roads to deliver a freight. He was so freaked out about this incident that the driver contacted Sherman immediately. Apparently, the driver saw something on the road and after realizing this, Are you he pulled in over to check if anybody got YouTube? hurt, but there was no trace of anybody. Yeah, we seen this. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I've been bamboozled. It looks like a child in some form of old clothing. Maybe a dress, perhaps. We saw this recently. I feel like it's been a while since we did. Hmm, maybe not. Hold on, we got a replacement. We got a replacement. Y'all, this is scary things that'll make you scream. When I saw that title, I knew this had to be the replacement. Let's go. Doing up, Callan, and this is Slap Slap Pam. Pam. Today, we're looking at some super scary video clips that may just give you nightmares. You know what to put in the chat. We need a slap and a ham. Come on now. Always, before we dive in, remember to hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. In a video shared on Instagram by user Green Coom, a man can be seen walking through his backyard in the dead of night. Nope. He mentions that it's 2 a.m. and his wife had just heard some odd noises coming from outside of their home. Suspecting that children might be playing in their back shed, the man takes his camera and goes outside. 2 a.m. Wife just woke up, said she thought someone was playing in her back shed. I hope not, because it's almost falling apart it wouldn't be very safe but we're gonna come out here and hope you got a good with you have a look around see if any of the neighborhood kids are messing around or anything you get quiet here for a second on reaching the shed he scans the dark area with his flashlight hoping to reveal the sources of the noise what he catches on camera is terrifying watch really who's up there <laughs> He dipped out of there, cuz. He dipped. Bro. My man's is blacker than black. Who is this? Look at that hand. My man look like he. <laughs> hey, what's that stuff, y'all? What's that stuff called? That stuff that's like, it's like in the powder form or it's like a paint that you can use. And it's supposed to be like the darkest substance known to man. It looked like he he rolled around in that. 
<laughs> My man is blacker than black. Was he butt naked? Watching that again, as the flashlight moves upwards, a shadowy figure becomes visible among the roof supports. Question mark, question mark, question mark. What's up? Long time no see. Sarah says, hey, okay, my friend. Y'all say hello to Sarah. And starts to flee back to the safety of his home, and that's where the video... Nah, not even coal. It's something else, but yeah, you can say coal. I guess he looked like he rolled around in some coal. Oh, abruptly ends. Closer examination of the figure suggests it might just be a person clad entirely in dark clothing. The lingering question, however, is what they were doing there so late at night in the first place. So black. Were they there to steal something from the shed, or were their intentions even more sinister? Somebody said this is Cap. Like this man, he hired a buddy of his to climb up there to the top. And he and he was gonna go out there with a little story saying, "Yeah, my wife said, you know, she heard some noises back here." Do, 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 do. He goes back there and see this man, and he runs off. <sighs> Whoever said that, you could be right. You could be right. Yes, obsidian. That's what it looked like. It looked like this fool rolled around in some obsidian. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments down below. If that was me... My voice would have sounded a lot different <laughs> as I ran. I'd be terrified. The perceived ability of and this dog is dark. Animals to sense the paranormal has long been a topic of fascination and beautiful intrigue throughout history. Various cultures have attributed supernatural abilities to animals, believing they possess a heightened sensitivity to otherworldly forces. Anecdotes abound of pets reacting to unseen presences, often displaying signs of fear or curiosity in response to seemingly innocuous locations or objects. While definitive scientific evidence is yet to confirm these paranormal connections, the possibility that animals may have a heightened awareness of the ethereal realm continues to captivate the human imagination. Big facts. In this video, we see several animals seemingly reacting to a potentially paranormal presence. I remember this. Footage starts with a man calling out to one of his pet dogs, asking, What's the matter? Are you okay? Hey, what's the matter, girl? Come here. What's the matter? You okay? The dog appears okay. to shy away from the door, seeking refuge under the bed. What is it? That girl? As the man approaches another dog, it too seems frightened, its head lowered. The man then heads towards the kitchen, where a cat appears to be gazing up at the ceiling before slowly slinking out of sight. Seems that something has the animals on edge. What could it be? What is that? Suddenly, a loud bang echoes throughout the house. Hesitantly, the man enters the attic, which is filled with various items. The quick sweep of the area reveals nothing out of place. As he heads back down the stairs, another bang can be heard. What the hell? The man re-enters the attic, placing the camera down before venturing further into the area. Look, what happens next? Mid junkie, you say, John? A large red bucket topples over as if pushed by some sort of invisible force. The man flees, inadvertently leaving his camera behind. That's when more strange activity is recorded. The 
Did this man experience paranormal activity? And if so, were the animals able to detect a presence on the property? What is that? Are your pets sensitive to the supernatural? Share your experiences with one another in the comments down below. You okay? Yeah. Hold on, y'all. What is it? This next video features another dog that might be able to detect the paranormal. The animal can be seen pacing around a dimly lit room, barking at some sort of presence. Hello? Hey, no, 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 stay there. Hey. Oh, no, mommy, you saw that? Dude. The clip shared to TikTok by VK. That's so crazy. This thing looks so solid sitting there. A project appears to capture a mysterious shadowy figure. Potato 99, anyone? Good God. Seated in a corner of the room. No, 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 no. No, look at that. Bro, it looks so real like it's sitting there and then it gets up and it, things change. It looked like it's super small and it just vanishes. Hey. Oh my God. It's okay. It's okay. No. Person filming asks the figure to stay there as they man. This is interesting. I don't know what to make of this because anybody that's done film work knows that it's so difficult. Well, hell, with um, technology being the way that it is now, maybe it's a lot easier. But back in the day, it used to be so difficult to place objects or items in certain places on camera if you if it wasn't completely still. Like this man is walking down the stairs and this thing is sitting there. The entire time even though it's completely blacked out it looks as if it's looking at him it even walks directly into him as it vanishes approach however as they do the figure seems to stand and then vanish into thin air no stay there hey and then scans the area with the camera but there's no trace of it anywhere however the dog continues to growl as if sensing its presence it's okay. Y'all, we got 727 live viewers with 364 likes. Make sure y'all hitting that like button for your boy. I would love to hit 500 by the end of the live stream. It's okay. While some viewers speculate that the video may be the result of special effects, others aren't so certain. They point to the dog's unease as evidence that the footage could be authentic. Ultimately, though, we'll leave this up to you, the viewer, to decide. Is the shadowy figure merely an elaborate hoax, or does this video reveal something paranormal? Get your thoughts down below. Right there this time. Hello? Hey, no, 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 no. No, stay there. Hey. I see more people copy merch on the website. I'm going to have those orders together and out the door for you first thing in the morning. in high school, Redditor Desperate Meal 2255 embarked on an adventure with several friends to explore the old Wesley Methodist Hospital in Coos Bay, Oregon. They'd heard rumours that the place was haunted, so they couldn't resist seeing it for themselves. Constructed in 1925, the Wesley Methodist Hospital in Coos Bay, Oregon is a century-old former medical facility steeped in mystery and local lore. At one point, it was purchased by the Sisters of Mercy, who renamed it the Macaulay Hospital. And in 1982, the facility was transformed into the Ken Keyes College. However, since that time, the property has experienced periods of degradation and abandonment. Once a bustling institution providing care to the community, it now stands as a haunting testament to the passage of time. Shara, shout out to you. First time live with us. Yeah. The hospital has become a popular destination for urban explorers and thrill seekers drawn to the site by tales of paranormal encounters and ghostly apparitions. Redditor claims that they and their friends spend hours wandering through the eerie halls of the property and after exploring the entire hospital they congregated on one level. There they began playing some creepy music to set the atmosphere. Though nothing extraordinary occurred before leaving the property they took photos down each hallway. The following day, they discovered a chilling image among the photographs they had taken. 
woman appeared to be peeking around the corner. Ooh. The poster notes that it was impossible for it to be one of them as Ooh. everyone was accounted for. She's scary looking too. The poster says that while the experience was unsettling and strange, they can't say it convinced them of the paranormal. They believe it's more plausible that someone was observing them with shadows. Caleb asked the question, how come I didn't get a notification? Blame YouTube. Blame YouTube. Uh, Dreadhead, stop lying over here first time live. This is like your 200th time live with us, boy. Stop playing. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, if you didn't receive a notification, it's because YouTube hates me. Hmm. I don't know. Just You just got to know the schedule. You know, Thursday, Monday and Thursday, 8 p.m. typically. Sometimes 9 Eastern Standard Time. It's like the previous photo, the following mysterious footage was also captured in Coos Bay, Oregon. Really? On April 5th, 2023, four hunters recorded this bizarre video as they approached a clearing along a trail. Uh oh, they might have got alien. That's interesting, y'all. The footage shared to Reddit by Flimsy Union 1524 depicts a square or rectangular object that seems to be floating in the air. There's lights to it, too. Potato 99 much? Good God, but look at it, though, y'all. I believe whatever they think this is. I believe them. Because this is interesting. It's hard to fake something like this... <sighs> Like I said before, because there's too much movement of the camera. The strangest aspect of one of the eyewitnesses' account is that none of the hunters remember the event. They claim to have only discovered the footage while reviewing random video clips. Wow, they didn't even see that. Dang, they didn't even see that. In the footage, the hunters are seen observing the object, but they all seem to walk away nonchalantly as if witnessing such a sight was a routine occurrence. Dang, they didn't even see it. After reviewing the video, the hey Captain Crunch, I appreciate that. He says YouTube may hate you, but we love you. Thank you. Eyewitness noted that the object appears to be about three hundred feet away and hovering approximately fifty feet above the ground. What is this mystique? Robert, happy birthday to you. He said he went on the website and caught him and copped himself a beard comb. Guess what? It's gonna get autographed for you too. Curious <laughs> object. Alien craft, secret military technology, and why do the hunters all have no memory of the event? Unfortunately, the answers to these questions and more continue to remain elusive. They have no memory of the event? What sense does that make? Do they not remember being out here? Even though they didn't see it? Baked potato 99. The fear of snakes, also known as aphidiophobia, is a common... Oh, dang. I like that one. Aphidiophobia. That's the fear of snakes? That's the first time I... Look, I knew there was a nephobia when it came to the fear of snakes, but I never knew what it was. Aphidiophobia. That one rolls off the tongue nicely. <laughs> aphidiophobia. I like the way that sounds. Aphidiophobia. It's like a, it's like a bar, like a, like a rap. I got that aphidiophobia. <laughs> phobia that affects a significant portion of the population. This fear can be attributed to various. I got the arachnophobia myself. Factors including the instinctive aversion to potentially dangerous creatures, cultural conditioning, and personal experiences. Yeah. Snakes are often portrayed as sinister or menacing in literature, mythology, and popular culture, which may contribute to the development of this fear. For some individuals, the mere sight or thought of a snake can evoke intense feelings of anxiety, panic, or even physical symptoms such as increased heart rate and shortness of breath. That's crazy. I've been in in proximity of big arachnids, anacondas. <laughs> Not scared at all. While the majority of snake species are harmless, the fear of encountering dangerous varieties can exacerbate this phobia. While many possess this phobia, some clearly do not. Like the woman seen in this footage posted to Reddit by user. Okay, it wasn't this big though. This is crazy. What? Where's his head? Is that his? Where's? Is that his head or his tail that's in her lap? 
are aiming to Kim 22. That's she crazy. If that thing get hungry, she's done. They probably look. Ew. <clears throat> Usually they feed these things before they let them interact with people like this so they can be nice and full. Because if this thing wanted to wrap himself around her, she's done. Is that the head, bro? In the video, we see a large snake slithering its way towards the woman who seemingly pays it no attention whatsoever. This snake is not large. It's gigantic. The giant reptile even makes its way onto the woman's lap as if expecting to be petted like a cat. Nope, not me. While several commenters noted that the snake is actually a reticulated python and not an anaconda as the description suggests, no one seemed to be able to provide an explanation for the snake's presence or for the nonchalant demeanor of I don't care what it is, python, anaconda is big. A woman. Why? Reticulated pythons are the longest snakes in the world with some specimens measuring up to an impressive 10 meters, which is around 32.8 feet in length. 30, 32 feet, that's... What? Indigenous to South and Southeast Asia, this python species not only holds the title for length, but also ranks among the top three heaviest snakes in the world. The reticulated python is among the few snakes that actually prey on humans. While these large constrictors are non-venomous and prefer to avoid confrontation, there have been several instances of attacks on humans. The primary danger associated with reticulated pythons lies in their powerful constriction abilities, which they use to subdue and suffocate their prey before consuming it. That thing all muscle. Imagine that thing is like, I'm going to get you. Choke you out. Muscle. You, you ain't going to be able to do nothing. You know how many men it will require to get this thing to untangle you and un... And, and, and <laughs> You know how many men it were required to get this thing to get you out of his grabs? I couldn't even get that out. It would take probably like 10 full grown men. And they would still be struggling. She crazy for that one. In December 2013, a 59-year-old security guard was strangled to death while trying to capture a python near the Bali Hyatt, an upmarket hotel on Indonesia's resort island. The incident occurred around 3am as the 15-foot reptile was seen crossing a road near the hotel. The victim had volunteered to help. No, Rochelle, I will not shout out your mother, Miss Francis. No. <laughs> hey there, how you doing, Miss Francis? We in here, enjoying the live together. Your daughter, she's uh she's a long term, long time viewer. She she been here with us for a while. Uh it's always an honor and a pleasure to see her in the live stream with us hanging out. Capture the snake, which had been spotted several times in the Sanua Bali area before escaping back into nearby bushes. In 1995, a 15-year-old boy from Serian, Malaysia was also killed by a reticulated python while working on a rubber plantation. The python, measuring 23 feet in length, had coiled itself around the boy, suffocating him. The boy's father discovered the snake attempting to swallow his son before managing to kill the reptile. So then, lies this woman seen in the video allowing this reticulated python to get so close. That thing can swallow her whole, no problem. The answer to that remains a mystery. Because it's full. That's the thing, though, like they typically, from my understanding, my little knowledge that I know is like once they have had a big meal, like a deer <laughs> or something or a goat or something, they're not going to sit there and eat something else right behind that. They're going to wait until their digest, their digestive system has digested that animal. And they can go for a, an extended period of time before they eat again. So that's probably why she doesn't feel any fear. And this is probably her pet snake. She didn't have this thing since it was a baby. It was never that big, but you know. That's a beautiful snake. Before we take a look at some bizarre footage that's been captured at a swimming competition, remember to hit that subscribe button, then See, tickle that little bear. bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. No, the gaming ladder, not 500 likes for another video. I actually have a friend on the way over here. Um... 
yeah, so I gotta get out of here after this. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. The final video on our list, uploaded to Instagram by user Green Coom, is undoubtedly perplexing. Lack of context for the clip only adds to its mystery. Look. That's crazy. Oh, look at that. What the freak? What's sitting up there watching these people? Yo, that's creepy. A small creature with a dog-like face appears to be sitting on a ledge. It's tiny. Its legs crossed as if intently watching the action below. That's crazy. What if that was real? It could be a figure of some sort. We noted that the peculiar creature doesn't seem to move while being filmed. Right. It suggests it could be a puppet or figurine. Mm-hmm. Regardless of what the creature might be, its creepy appearance is undeniable. Imagine you're a competitor standing on the blocks awaiting the starter's gun only to look up and catch a glimpse of this thing. Crazy. We've made it to the end of the live stream, big baby. We got close to the number of likes that I was looking to get. We're 446. We'll, we'll hit 500 for the people that's going to be watching after this. But anyway, thank y'all so much for hanging out with your boy. Had a great time. This is a lot of fun. I would say that we can do this again tomorrow. Wait, why am I getting y'all hopes up for nothing? No, we're not doing this again tomorrow. Tomorrow's Cinco de Mayo, and I'm supposed to be going out. I ain't been out in so long. Out? Have I been out this year? I don't think so. No, nah, not really. Not like that. Uh-uh. I haven't. Dang. Y'all, oh, this year going by quick, ain't it? It needs to slow down because I'm about to be 36 in a minute. I need not, look, I need some more time. <laughs> anyway. I'm about to get up out of here. Y'all be safe. Hope y'all have a great weekend. Hope y'all are feeling well, happy and healthy. I'm going to talk to you beautiful people in the next one. See you.